The idea of individuality can be an interesting thing in life, but more specifically in the music industry. A lot of people try their hardest to fit in, losing what makes them unique and becoming more and more boring as their records get released. But the sad part is, oftentimes this is what helps them appeal to the masses and sell more albums. But then, you can also see the exact opposite happen. A musician or band could actually just be pretty boring. Then, when they aren't seeing any success, they do something weird to try and find some appeal. In a sense, they still aren't being themselves, but instead of trying to fit in, they're trying to stick out. I see this a lot with musicians later in their career. They've started declining in relevance, so now they want to do whatever they can to stay in the game. The truly rare situation is when an artist is unapologetically themselves. There's no wall, no barriers. They don't try to fit in because money doesn't seem to be the goal at hand, and it's not weird for the sake of being weird because they're just very strange, regardless of if a camera was rolling or not. Conan Moccasin is a psychedelic pop rock musician from New Zealand. He's been putting out music since around 2004, but I'm just finding out about him and I really wanted to make a video. From the moment I first heard his music and saw his videos, I felt like I was put into this strange trance. It's a little unnerving and honestly kind of creepy in a way, but more than anything, it's his own style. Sure, you can hear and see influences from other musicians and artists, but ultimately, Conan is being himself and making music that I struggle really comparing to anything else. I want you to go down the rabbit hole the same way I did, so let's start. Recently a friend showed me the music video for Lying Has to Stop. This is a track from the 2016 self-titled collab album from Soft Hair. This duo is made up of Conan and Sam Eastgate, formerly known as Sam Dust, and currently going by LA Priest. Eastgate was the former frontman for the British dance punk group Late of the Pier. Let's just focus on the song. It's a very groovy, melodic, atmospheric sound that I can't really throw into one specific subgenre. It's a mashup of something psychedelic mixed with dream pop, space rock, and more. Conan's voice is strange, eerie, and a much higher pitch than you might expect, and at least for me, there's something pretty charming about it. He changes his vocal melodies a few times throughout the track, sometimes they're lower and more controlled, sometimes they're super high pitched with cracks and scratches in his delivery. It's this raw sound that I can't really get enough of. And now let's talk about the music video. From the very start we're met with our two vocalists who look like they're straight out of an 80s hairband. They're wearing robes, the background looks like the set design from a high school play about the future or something, Sam is giving his best model look, while Conan is making this lizard-esque face. This is what you get in the first three seconds of the video, and from there, it only gets more unusual. For the next 40 seconds or so, we see our two heroes doing a bizarre series of dances. Conan looks like he's riding a horse to just moving his hands back and forth, a quick gorilla dance, and back to the hands. Then we get Sam's verse, Conan singing the chorus with Sam stopping in the background, whoever this guy is, Conan's verse, some friends join the party as Conan sings the chorus, and then the strangeness peaks as we get to the bridge. Conan being as creepy as possible, holding this big video camera in the bathroom, and what is he filming but Sam just standing there. Cool. The video ends with the two wiping the soapy glass door of the shower. So while I was incredibly weirded and creeped out by this video, I was intrigued. I liked the song a lot, especially Conan's parts. He seemed to be the more eccentric of the two, so I was interested in checking out more of his music. And while you might think Lying Has to Stop would be the pinnacle of weird for Conan, just wait and see. The next video I checked out was the song I'm the Man That Will Find You off of Conan's 2013 album, Caramel. So this is the thing about my relationship with Conan's music. First off, I know I really enjoy it. His voice is otherworldly, the instrumentals are ambient yet groovy, and each part of a given song can be completely different than other parts of the song, which I find interesting. But so much of the time, especially when I'm watching the videos, I just feel like he's joking. Like years from now, he's gonna write a book about how he was pretending to be some entertainer who was half musician, half Tim and Eric character. If this video didn't seem ridiculous enough already, look at what happens when the hook comes around for the third time. Hey, 
how is this a real person? But the more I watched his videos and read his interviews, I started to understand that this is just who Conan is. He's a very different, unique artist pursuing whatever he wants. He's an extremely talented guitarist, a one-of-a-kind vocalist, and he comes up with some of the more interesting visuals I've ever seen. There are plenty of weird Conan things to talk about. In a September 2013 interview with The Guardian, Conan said that he hadn't listened to music in a long time, as if that was a normal thing to say, especially for a musician. The interviewer asks exactly how long a long time is, and Conan says, 10 years I suppose. I don't really know whether it's because I'm lazy about collecting or searching for stuff, I've got no music on my computer at all. They talk for a little longer until the interviewer asks what was the last album Conan had listened to and enjoyed. He thinks about it for a second and says that it was Outkast's Speaker Box The Love Below. I just googled when the album had come out and it was literally days away from being exactly 10 years prior to that interview. How strange is that? Later on I read a news hub review of a recent concert Conan had in his native New Zealand. The concert began with a short film made by Conan and his bandmates. Conan starred as a teacher who falls in love with a female student who later becomes heartbroken when he finds out that the student is actually male. That's how the concert began. Strange. The band comes out on stage and Conan wasn't wearing any pants, just an oversized t-shirt and tall green boots. They do a few songs and then after finishing the third track of the night, Conan very sincerely gives an apology to the crowd. I'm really sorry, but I'm only about 70% greased up. Nobody in the crowd had any idea what he was talking about and what greased up referred to. As he and his band went through his discography, playing one funkadelic ambient song after another to perfection, he gives the audience a message before he leaves. Right after finishing the last song, he says, I'm all greased up now, I'm sorry I wasn't at the start, I like to be greased up from the beginning. And then he left, without ever giving context about what that meant. There's something so charming to me about a musician who is completely and utterly themselves, all the time. He's having fun, he's making good music and admittedly strange but sometimes beautiful music videos. And personally, I see no part of him trying to conform to anything or trying to purposely stick out. He's just being Conan Moccasin, the extremely talented, unique musician who, by the way, has some very big name fans. Over the years, musicians like Beck, Tyler the Creator, Beach House, Radiohead, and more have all declared their love for Conan. He's also helped record on projects for James Blake and MGMT. Conan has a lot of music in his discography, so check him out. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. If you want to follow my social media, the links are down below. You can also donate to my Patreon, help the show, and get some cool rewards if you click the link on the screen. And I sell merch at tpublic.com slash user slash alphomedia. Thanks for watching, and always forward.